everyone. So it is week three of the CrossFit Open and I wonder what it's going to be. Going back to last week in 21.2, I asked you guys to have a guess of what I got. And Ben Kitchen, you are the winner. You'll be winning yourself some supplements. So please make sure you DM me so I can get all your information and send you a whole bunch of supplements so that you can get that optimal recovery that you deserve. All right, so tomorrow morning, I will be doing the open workout 21.3. So, um, you know, depending on what it is, um, we're not too sure exactly what we're going to do the last two weeks. I've asked you guys to guess my time. So make sure that you tune in to tomorrow's workout and you get to figure out what we're going to be giving away and you could be the lucky winner. So far week one and two have gone really well. Obviously for myself and my team, the open isn't necessarily a huge priority. We're really still focusing on our training and making sure that we're getting good quality training in just because we're really trying to make sure that we get into that top 10, but also have a really solid baseline for the season ahead. And so for weeks one and two, um, I think that they've been incredible workouts, especially when you're thinking about the people at home that can't actually get access to a gym. I think they've been manageable, they've been different. I mean, we had wall walks the first week, and then last week was a redo, which I'm sure, and I also have heard a lot of people doing a lot better since 2017. I don't have any predictions. I have no idea what kind of clue Dave Castro actually posted. I'm not even going to try but personally I would like to see something where we may have to work really hard and also um, you know load the barbell up so something a little bit heavier um, but who really knows I never get those predictions right um, I just have to get ready and make sure I'm prepared for whatever it is to come all right the announcement is just about to start so um, last week and the week before I noticed a lot of people asking me what I do leading into the open workout for me, I actually do active recovery. So um, I am going to the pool, I'm doing a swimming session. I'm also getting a massage, having a sauna session and just really letting the mind and the body relax. Some days this is different when it comes to getting leading into a competition. It may be, you know, just spinning the legs on a bike. It doesn't necessarily always have to be swimming. Um, but that's what we've been doing over the last three weeks. And I just got back from my swim session and we are here in time for the workout. 15. Ooh, front squat. 2.3 is 15 front squat, 30 toe to bar. 15 uh, thruster at this point you take a fixed one minute rest huh. forced one minute rest before uh, continuing on damn you're gonna have to really work for that rest into clean mm. wow hmm. 21.4 cool. is immediately following well, 21.3 you finish i got my heavy barbell so with that workout, I think that that's going to be an interesting one. You know, you're going to have to go out hard, but also not too hard where you're completely ridden yourself off for the 21.4. So when, you know, I haven't had a whole lot of thought, but as soon as I see that kind of workout, it's just about making sure that you stay just below that threshold, um, you know, the toe to bar, the bar muscle ups, chest bars, that's going to get very, very grippy. 30 reps is no joke. And so um, I know my proven fitness coaches are going to be putting together a video on the Proven Fitness YouTube channel. And they're going to be able to give you all the tips and tricks to get through that nice and manageably so that you guys aren't going out too hot and sending yourselves. Uh, that's also a workout you probably don't want to repeat too many times just because of all the squats, your lower body is going to be a little sore afterwards. And you know, um, you want to make sure that when you go for that heavy lift in that complex, that you're really staying nice and strong and that you're not too fatigued from, you know, doing this workout a number of times. So, all right, so just based off what I've seen, 
it, I think it's very important from the very beginning in 21.4 to make sure that you actually do a lift of that complex with a lighter weight. You just want to make sure that your body knows what it's going to be doing and you don't just dive too deep and then struggle and crumble underneath the weight. So do, start with a little bit lighter weight and then probably aim for about three to four sets and really try and make sure that you really attack the barbell every time that you step up to it. I think, you know, I'm sure Shane's probably going to suggest to me, you know, aim for about 90% of my limiting uh, movement. And, you know, if I can hit that, it's going to be a great day, um, you know, with making sure that I'm putting up a really solid time in 21.3 as well. So I wish you all luck. I hope that you have a lot of fun. Make sure that you have everything organized and just go out there and give it your absolute best. Let's do this. Got picks your homie rolling. Let me offer my condolence. You don't know just how I'm doing. And the silence go to broke because they know I'm talking fluent. Got him under the influence. The truth is talking to him. But it's on your ego.